Hi, I'm Chris Schultz with HQ Kites, and this is the Scout 2. This is a 5-meter kite. What's different about this kite from the original Scout is we've taken all the crossover system away from the bar and we moved it to the bridle. So it's a lot less complicated and cleaner at the bar side. On the bridle side, we've added some Ron Stan pulleys, and you get that same crossover action, which allows the kite to turn super tight for a, a bar control. And I'll walk up here and show you some of the crossover action. Your power lines comes through all the way to the top. Your crossover action occurs down here where you get your brakes. When you turn the bar, not only are you pulling the top line, but you're actually initiating a little bit of pull on the bottom brake lines, which cups the trailing edge, which helps the turn tighter. You've got adjustments for that as well. If you want a little more grunt, a little more power, you can attach this line, your brake line, a little further up towards the bridle. In lighter winds, you don't need turning as tight. You can just move it down a little bit further there. So it's a lot cleaner at the bar, but you still get that wonderful turning action up here thanks to uh, this bridle improvement. We have colored lines. We have sewn Dyneema bridles for strength and durability. And the other cool thing is we've reduced the line to a three-line system, so there's less parasitic drag. The old Scout used to be a four-line kite, and now it's a three-line kite. Scout features reinforced canopies with the crossover. This helps reinforce the inside of the structure. It also includes dirt outs in case you get debris or sand inside your wing. It easily cleans out. Let's check out the bar. This is the harness loop, and this is the quick release off the harness loop. So pull this, it releases the pin, and this frees you from the bar. All the scouts come with a harness loop, so if I'm wearing a harness, I can easily hook in. Makes it great if you're snow kiting or uh, mountain boarding or even buggying. This is a great convenience. You have this wrist leash, and if you let go of the bar, this is going to pull the bottom line, which is going to pull the wing out from under, and the kite will fly in reverse. You can also reverse launch in the same manner. If your leading edge is down, you pull on this line and the kite will reverse launch. And what we have here is a typical kiteboarding leash that I could connect to my harness. And then instead of putting the wrist leash around my wrist, this would hang and dangle. And then if I let go of the bar, then my leash would come into play. Typical bar control, pull left, turns left, pull right, goes right. There is no sheeting. This is a fixed bridle kite. So it flies at the same angle of attack regardless. The only difference is you can adjust the amount of break at the bridle. Uh, Craig is demonstrating the use of the Scout 2. He's attaching his harness loop to his harness. And he's actually attached a kite boarding leash to his third line, which he can use in place of attaching this to his wrist. So if he's flying and something happens and he needs to jettison the kite, he can either pull the loop out or he can pull the red ball. If he's not overpowered, he can also pull on the center line to reverse launch or to send the kite in reverse. He drops the bar, and this activ activates the third line, which brings the kite down. Craig, getting ready to launch the five meter scout. Yeah, baby.
Plenty of power with the Scout. Talk about its stability. Very stable. Look, Ma, no hands. Perfect for snow kiting, mountain boarding, or just using as a traction trainer. It's extremely versatile. The fact that it is a fixed bridle kite means it's easy to understand. So Craig is demonstrating the use of the Scout on a mountain board. With the use of his harness, it's super easy. He's going to dip the kite into the power zone, create a little bit of power, and then it's he's off to the races. Craig is with the Scout in a buggy. Yeah, there you go. Sweet. Super stable, easy to use. So Craig is here going to demonstrate the, the flagging system and the use of the third line safety. So he's connected with his leash, and when he lets go of the bar, it's going to pull on the trailing edge of the kite, and it'll uh, come down in reverse. Very little power, and now he's able to retrieve his kite safely. That's the Scout 2.